Okay, guys, so um, the just a quick one then before Nino starts. So this week um, we're joined by Nino Crudelli, who's going to talk a little bit about Azure Event Hubs. Um, just really quickly, sorry, let me... So for anybody who doesn't know about um, the London Summit next week, just a quick plug for the the summit where we're going to have a lot of um, content similar to what we've had at Integration Monday over the last few weeks. Um, the next thing after that is for interacting with each other. So firstly, we've got a whole bunch of new events that are going to be announced um, just before the London Summit. So if you check the integrationusergroup.com website or the event bright page, then you'll see all those events as we start publishing them out. And I just wanted to share a little bit of um, a little bit of stuff here so you can guys can see a few of the events we've got live. So I'm waiting for details from people around the topics um, before I can announce but the next. Um, we've got no event next because it's the London Summit on the Monday. But then the week after the 20th, we've got um, Johan from Sweden is going to be doing a session. The week after, we've got Mick Badrin joining us from Australia, who um, I think it's going to be something crazy like 4 a.m. out there, which I'm sure Dan can confirm the time. So, um, you know, hopefully everyone will, will enjoy getting the chance to listen to Mick speak because it's not very often we get that up, up here in Europe. Then after that, we've got Massimo and uh, Salvatore, then Todd the week after, Ashwin, Mikkel Sand, Richard Sorotta, Tom Cantor. So just wanted to kind of give you guys a view that there is some pretty good sessions and speakers we've got lined up. And I'm just waiting for the final details to come through before I can start announcing those. Um, and I guess um, finally, um, just to confirm those, so I'll I'll pass over to Nino now, and um, Nino's going to talk us through his presentation. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Ah, okay, cool. Okay, perfect. So, just looking for my. Mm -hmm. Let me take my slide and so on. So, first of all, so 20, how many? 25, 26 people here. So, what are you doing here? Easter, Monday, nothing better to do. Mm, okay. By the way, Okay, we can start. So, Azure given tab. So, how many developers? How many developers we are here? Hmm? Three, four, five, ten, twenty. All of us, we are developers. We we love develop. By the way, go ahead with the event tab. I start to use event tab. I mean, six months ago. It was, I mean, a very good technical stack inside uh, Azure. I really enjoyed the event app. Uh, I'm Nino Crudele. I'm Microsoft Integration MVP. I've been for seven years. I don't, I'm not sure about that, probably eight, but uh, I, I don't think so. Eight, eight, I think eight. Uh, Forgot to mention question. I'm I'm reading a message from Mike. Mm. Okay, I will. I'm not the old man, by the way. <laughs> Don't start to come on, guys. I have to speak now. <laughs> Don't start to use the chat. I can see chat in the meantime, just speaking. <laughs> so, Michael integration MVP for eight years, I think so. And my blog, ninocrudele.me, I'm uh, working in Solid Software Apply as Application Integration Specialist. My key technologies are integration and sure, Visto Server and Azure of Things. I like to call Azure of Things. I will speak about that during the London Summit. Uh, 
I am start to using a lot of things inside Azure because Microsoft is doing a very, very good work. Good job, sorry. And so what I'm thinking, now is the time to use all of these things. And uh, there are a lot, a lot of good opportunity to use all of these things together. And I mean, even tabs, stream analytics, machine learning, Q topics, so why not? So I worked in this last uh, six months, and I developed a lot of things. This is um, my personal project. I want to show some very interesting things during the London Summit. Uh, I'm a Bistol Crew member, and um, yes, blogger, and my I'm really focused about assessment, development, as check and troubleshooting. And my hobbies and coding. Yeah, I show I'm yeah, it's not a really happy thing because but okay, I'm forty nine years old I I'm still like code what I can do. By the way. Chess, kayak, downhill bike, skateboarding game for sure, fishing. So in the first, I would like to spend something about the Beast of London Summit. Why, what, and when? So I think in the first, because, because this event, this event birthed from uh, an idea. Five crazy guys start this adventure. Well, I think where uh, was two years ago, I think so, two years ago, we start around for Europe and organizing event around the Europe. And just, just, <laughs> just without care anything and just for fun, for passion, for passion. So the London summit uh, was, uh, I think it was two years ago, and it was a really nice event. And now the London summit is one of the most important event in the world. So now there are two events. Is integrated 2014. It was uh, in November, I think so. I don't remember very well now, but I think it was November. And this is London Summit 2015. So these two events are the most important integration event ever. So you can't miss that. This is what I mean. Okay. The other reason is because all people will be there. So, uh, as I know now, are more than 300 attendees. I don't know how many companies inside, but a lot, a lot of companies. So I think you think you have to be there also for this reason. But the important reason is this one. All the family will be there. For the family, I mean the MVP family will be present during the event as a speaker. So all the speakers in the event will be present. And this is a very good opportunity to share knowledge and, yeah, sure, to drink a beer with them. Nothing better than drink a beer and speaking about technology. This is what I think. And also because I think that all of us, we will write a, 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 a word page of history of integration. I'm sure about that because the topics inside the event are awesome. Believe me. Other, what? Yeah, what? So the topic in the event will be a lot, a lot of different topics, a lot of different things. So I'm thinking is very, very, will be a very, very interesting, a very important moment because Microsoft is going to release a lot, a lot of new stuff. I'm speaking about API apps, so new integration stack inside Azure. So now it's time that after this, there is no turning back. So what I'm thinking is, <laughs> come on, guys, <laughs> if you want to know something more about the future, this is the moment. You have to go there also for this particular reason. 
I'm so sad because I'm not able to see your face in this moment. So I'm just speaking with my monitor now. By the way, well, we go ahead. When, when this Orlando Summit will be, as, as Michael said, you will be 13 and 14 of April. And there will be present all Microsoft stuff. I mean, for people, very important guys. Let me open here. Yeah, so check this out. This all these speakers are about Microsoft guys, so I know some of them and I like some of them, Guru. And all these guys who prod manager, program manager, Tort. Tort now is a Microsoft guy. All the other guys are all MVPs. I think it's Steve Jane, Saravana, this is a crazy guy. And all of this, Kent. Kent is going to prepare a very nice session. Sandro, Sandro Pereira. Also, all a lot of big session inside the event. So, and Michael. And you see all the topics, very cool topics. All the first day will be about the cloud. The second day will be about some other stuff. You see this, uh, check this out. Big server thieves. Power BI, a lot, a lot of different things, a lot, a lot of different things. So what I think you have to be there also for this, please. By the way, sorry, go away. Even tab. So what about even tab? Use even tab. So I just to collect some slide, but we will switch uh, in code because I like uh, to use code. I hope you also like to use code and play with Wizard Studio because I don't like slide honestly. Okay, but the slide has useful just to explain some base things about stuff. So I uh, the, my first approach with Event Hub was not so simple. And I also so a lot of people that's asking me about information about event tab, how to do this, how to do that. But when you are going in event tab, it's very simple to use. Nothing, nothing complicated. Yes, you just only need to understand how event tab is work. So uh, the use of event tab, uh, I'm just putting here some of the use, the most important, because people just say around, okay, you can find some material around in internet. Uh, I will show you uh, what the best material you can find in internet, uh, but there is not a lot, a lot of documentation. Um, by the way, now, uh, the most use you can is in, in industrial automation, for example, or high sky intelligence mobility uh, for high sky connected system, yes. Um, I was surprised about know about the Xbox because even Tabby is used inside the Xbox for the multiplayer and just to synchronize uh, players in multiplayer engine is very powerful things. But I can understand that because I use even Tab a lot in this last uh, five months in one of my personal study. And you have to believe me guys. This is a very crazy thing. So also, I put this one at the end of the slide. See, check this out. It's about the new hybrid, uh, new hybrid integration here in Vision. But this will be during the London Summit. I want just to start to anticipate something about what I'm going to do during the London Summit. And I will present uh, uh, a new integration pattern so I just uh, in, think about a new integration pattern using uh, all the things inside Azure. I'm speaking about uh, event tab, topics, uh, uh, QA, and all possible stuff. Also, why not? Also, the simple notification services of Amazon or Google. Why not? Use all of, all of these things together. Uh, so, hyperscale, yes, one million client uh, concurrently. I would like to spend some some words about that, okay, guys? Because 
all people speaking about one million message per second. That's right, no? Correct? Yes, one million message per second. But we have to understand what is paid. One million message per second. My question is, are you able to send one million message per second using even tab from your laptop? You think so? Is it possible to do that? You, all of you, you are developer. I also think you are very cool developer. I think he, just using C sharp, you are able to send, I, I don't know, your grandmother on the moon without any problem. I'm sure about that. But send one million message to the event tab in one second, guys, is not a simple thing. So there is a lot, a lot of things to manage, a lot of things to, to understand about the event tab. Well, the basis, the event tab, for sure, is able to escape in very, very, very high level. So we are speaking about one million message per second. And so the positioning, the positioning. I don't agree totally with this slide. I just collect some slide around just to speak about. But this is one of the classic slides. I think, uh, yes, it's correct because the event tab is the ingestor broker. Absolutely fine. Okay, here is the event tab. This is the canonical use of event tab. I like to use event tab uh, in this kind of scenario. So you are using event tab as ingestor broker, so you are going to receive one million message or something inside the event tab. It's very, very simple. I will show you how to do that. It's very simple to do that. And you can just connect a stream analytic and put all of this message using stream analytic and send all the message in, for example, a SQL Azure database or Azure storage or use all the other kind of stack. This is one of the canonical, absolutely canonical way to use event tab. But there are all, a lot of other different ways to use it. I will show you during the London Summit. It's very crazy guy. You have no idea what I did. <laughs> Introducing event tab. So this is one of the classic features you can find in the internet. I just use this one because I like to use something to make this picture. No, so I'm going to use this pen. Okay. So uh, I like to write something inside this screen. And we will go ahead with the slide very fast later. So the important thing, we have all the produce, all the event producer here. So let me check here, pen, here, perfect. So what the limit is, we can send one megabyte per second, right? One megabyte per second or one on 1,000 uh, message per second per throughput unit. So when I'm speaking about to send 1 million message per second, I mean, there are a lot of people now that are using, uh, or they like to use event tab, for example, for logging, uh, great logging system, say the event to the event tab, and just storage all these event uh, somewhere. Yes, event tab is absolutely the best technology stack in Azure to do that. But you have to understand that there are some limit about event tab. Limit, I mean, is a limit is about a throughput unit. So you have uh, one throughput unit by default inside the event tab when you're going to create an event tab. And you can also escape per throughput unit. So you have 1,000 message or one megabyte per second per throughput unit, okay? So if you want to send one million message to the event tab per second, you have to use 1,000 throughput unit. You can do that, call Microsoft and pay the subscription, okay? So uh, you can send a message to the event tab in direct way, okay? And also using MNQ or HTTPS, right? The event tab is split in partition. You have eight partition 
by default or 16 or 32 partition, right? You can send the message to the event app in different way. One way is just to send the message without care about the partition. This meaning that the event app, when you're going to receive the message, is going to use a round robin mechanism and just decide the event app where to send the message in one of the partition. Okay, this is one of the way to send the message to the event app. The second way is just to use directly the partition. So I mean, I'm going to send the message, I'm going to send the message directly to this partition. I can distinguish the partition using, the partition is a string, okay? The key partition key is a string. The partition key number is one, two, three, and so on, okay? So you can use one of the partition, I can send the message to partition one, partition two, partition three, or partition four. Or I can just send the message directly to the event tab without care about the partition. But in this case, I'm going to use the, right, the round robin. So if you are going to use the round robin mechanism inside the event tab, for sure, you are going to miss some performance stuff. This is very important because you have to understand that there is a round robin mechanism before to send the message to the event tab. Right. See, so it's absolutely faster use a particular partition or drive the send of the message to a particular partition. Okay? This is one of the most important points about the event tab. So, first important point, throughput unit. You have to define the throughput unit you want to use. And you have to calculate about the throughput unit you want to use about the event tab. So the throughput unit is very simple. For each throughput unit, you have one K message per second or one megabyte message per second. Okay? This also working per partition. So you have to calculate the number of partition and the number of messages you would like to send to even that. Okay? Be careful about that, about all of this calculation, because after you set the number of partition, you are not able to change the number of them later, okay? So you have to decide very carefully about the number of partition to use inside the event tab before to start to develop your project or release your project or create your event tab. Second important point is this one is this point here, HTTP or AMQP. So, uh, for sure, AMQP is the reliable messaging using the side to transmit the message inside the event tab instead of HTTP. HTTP is an open protocol, but AMQP is absolutely uh, more, most performant than HTTP. So, uh, don't care about the first call you are going to do in M and MQP. The first call you are going to do to MQP is, is just a bit slow, but just the first call, all the other will be really, really, really fast. And this is absolutely faster than HTTP. So, if you want to be faster in performance, MQP is your solution. Okay? Other, uh, large number of partition, I can? Yeah, sure, buddy, you can do that. You can, ah, it's Michael. Michael, you are an expert also in, in, in event up. You are making quick question. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can, you can create, uh, you can create, uh, uh, you can create 1,000, 24 partition on even tab. So the number of partition is 8, 16, 32. You can also go on 1024. To do that, just call Microsoft. No problem to do that. Absolutely fine. Just pay where the problem is. After that, go ahead. Other question? Oh, I just, okay, resolve.
Okay, now we cover the sender. If you have, if you have, uh, if you have a question, maybe question, eh? no problem. We have dynamic during this session, so we can speak and we can show you what we want. But I want just to spend time here, and after that, just to have a cap and back to Visual Studio. Uh, the receiving, receiving side, very important part is the receiving side. So we have two different patterns for the receiving, the receiving side. One is just, okay, we can just connect. We can just connect and create a receiver and the receiver is thus using a direct way. It's very fast. The direct way is very, very fast. Or we can use the event processor host. I will show you. Event pros host. Okay. This this as a is for abstraction abstraction mechanism. I will show you later. The important thing you have to understand about the receiving is this one. The event type working using this animal here, the consumer group. By default, you have one consumer group. The consumer group is the default consumer group. Okay? So you have, by default, you have one default consumer group. What this mean? It's meaning that you have one single consumer group is this one who is going to listening in all the partition. Got it? Okay. This is very important to understand about the event app. What I'm going to explain to you now is not about just showing slide or something, guys. The important thing with the event app is just to understand how the, how the event app is working. When you understand that, you can do what you want with the event app. So, what I said to you before is this one. You have one default group by default. And the default group is going to use a listening in all the partition. Okay? So, if you are going to manage the event app to do one important thing, I like to use event up in public subscribing scenarios. Pub sub. Okay. Probably some of you just start thinking, what? Public subscribing? With event up? Yes, guy. You have to do that. It's very powerful to do that. Why? Because in the first, event up using reliable messages. So you are able to send message, reliable messaging to the event tab. Okay, and this is very important to that in Azure. No many technical st technology stack are able to do that in Azure, and not in one million message per second. Also, you can drive the subscriber by partition. Okay, so you can receive and you can create and you can put a receiver in direct message for each partition. Okay, or you can do that. You can create a different consumer group. So, are two different patterns. If you want to receive all the message from the same event tab to all the same message to all the subscriber, the pattern to use is to use a consumer group, a consumer group one. Consumer group two, consumer group three, consumer group four. Otherwise, the best way is just to create and subscribe the multi-trading receiving. I'm speaking about using different receiver, but per partition, using the same default group. Okay? Okay, we can go in. So, even tap different partition, okay? This is, for example, two different uh, consumer group using a splitting to different uh, uh, different um, partition, and you can do that. You can absolutely consume the event for different partition, okay? 
I already said that. Now we are going fast because I don't want to spend time in these things. Okay. Uh, I already said you that about uh, 1,000 messages per partition and so on. Go, 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 go. Go slide this. I don't like to use slide, guys. I want to just uh, just checking if some missing. Uh, can create 29 consumer group. Yes, for sure. What is a consumer group? Ah, very important. I will show you. I prefer just to play with the code. Okay. Direct or astral, I already said you. Okay, you can use it. Offset. Okay, I will show you about the offset. Is this one. Okay, cursor, offset. You can use the cursor and offset because you can absolutely receive a particular message and starting to receive the message from a particular offset inside the partition. And you can write the offset inside the partition because the offset inside the partition has two different mechanisms. Is one, is one is by primary keys, I mean using a key value, could be a guide in, or for example, a timestamp. So you can start to receive a message from an a, a event tab, just starting from a timestamp or, or a, a particular key inside the event tab, okay? So high scale streaming and yes, it's a streaming consuming, okay? Partition or per group, this is just, NQ is absolutely faster than HTTP. Uh, event data, event data is the class, the object you can use inside the event tab and you can stream by byte, stream, or you can just use serializable and in JSON. Um, be careful about that because this is a very important thing. You can use, if you are going to use JSON inside the event tab, you are also able to use this, uh, stream analytic to gather all the information from the event tab. Okay. The offset I already said you, the checkpoint. What is the checkpoint? When you're going to receive a message from the event tab, okay? This is the event tab. You're going to receive the message here, okay? You're going to set something here to keep the information inside the string. This is a string inside the event tab. I want just to say you, okay, I already got this message here. I don't want to receive this message anymore, okay? So to do that, you are going to use the mechanism of checkpoint. You are going to use the checkpoint inside the event tab. About the, the, about the security, you are going to, to, to use the security token inside the event tab. It's the same mechanism used, the, the, used by the service pass. Even data size, no more than 256 uh, kilobytes per message. Okay, this is one of the limit. This is also about using batch mechanism. So guys, you can use the batch mechanism inside the event tab, okay? This mechanism here. Uh, but also the batch mechanism uh, is limited by two, uh, 256 kilobytes per message. Uh, you can also use a public key revocation, so uh, you, you, are, you are able to revocate uh, the, the, the the publishing way to, to uh, uh, a publisher uh, remotely without any problem. This is a very nice thing, okay? The message retention inside the event tab could be one day or more than one, okay? Uh, I don't remember, not, I think at least one week, and I think more than one week, for sure one week. Uh, how to use, uh, this is the event process. I want to show this uh, using uh, the source code, okay? We're going to play time. I just prefer to switch now. Cool. This is my, this is one of my laboratory. I use this one to play with the event tab, okay? Let me just open here. There are a lot of code here, okay? This is a, this is a laboratory you're able to send messages in all different patterns using event tab. This is very useful to understand between us. So also there is the send part and the receiving part. This is the same way. So I'm going to send message in synchronous way 
asynchronous way, multi-trading way, and just using a mechanism with using a multi-trading sync uh, lock stream mechanism to pull from a multi-thread queue. Just to understand it, to play with the event and just play with the event tab performance. So uh, we have here, for example, let me check here, check this out. Okay. Here we are. So uh, this is one of the most simple way, okay, to say. Uh, this is uh, just to send a message in synchronous way. Um, the message created here is a message, is a message serialized by, uh, I use here a JSON converter serialized mode. You don't really need to use this library. I, ju I just use this one because I would like just to serialize this one in JSON. But you can, ser you can use any kind of uh, uh, byte uh, serializable mechanism. I like to use byte serializable memory stream mechanism uh, and compress uh, the information inside uh, the message before to send to the event tab. By the way, uh, this is a simple class, me class message. Set this out it's with data member and so on with some information inside, but this is not important. You can send all you want. Okay. Uh, I'm going to serialize here. I'm going to create the event data. We are going to create the event data. It's very simple. You can use byte array, byte array, check this out, or stream. Very useful if you are going to use file and so on. And also uh, content using and using the XML object serializable mechanism. Okay, very simple. Event client same. How to create an event client? Very very simple, guys. So this is uh, a connection string. So in the first, we are going to create the event type. Now I'm going to use your portal. Let this out. Back back. Okay. Or item service bus. Create a namespace. New. Even tap. Quick create. Put a name. Uh, test during Easter. Check about the reason and so on. And this is the namespace. When you create the event tab, this is all. What you need to know about that is this one. Now it's going to create. We can use another event. No, I want. Uh, okay, we can use another event tab in the meantime, or I can do that. This is very important. In the meantime, is going to create the event tab. You have to do that. Where is the storage account? Storage, 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 every time I'm going to be this one. Okay, you have to create a storage account. Okay, you have to do that. Why? Because the event tab is going to use a block to save and to save all the messages in reliable. So, in this case, you are going to use my storage account is there. Where I'm going Northern Europe. Zero redundant. Yes, we have money to spend. So we are going Zero redundant. About that. Okay, perfect. We back in the event tab. We don't need more. We just created there. And after that, event tab. Okay, this one, this one is our event tab. You have the event tab, you can configure the event tab. You have to configure the event tab, okay? So in this case, we created the event tab. The event tab is table 16, partition count. Now you have to set a policy. The policy, very important is, okay, for best practice, you can send, you have to, for best practice, you have to create one just, for listen, okay, in reading, and another for manage and send, 
okay, or one for sale and one other for manage, okay. But if you want just to have to be sure about, okay, I want to be able to do that with using the single connection string, just use this one. Write something here or just your bell and say, okay, this is your key. This is the connection string you have to use to connect to the event tab. So you have two different layers. One is the connection string for the event tab. The second is about the uh, storage account. Two important things. Now, we have the connection string for the event tab. Where is the connection string? The connection string is here. Uh, uh, uh. Connection. Connection information just back here, down. Click here, all, and copy the string. This is the string you need to connect to the event tab. The second information, very important things you need to connect to the event tab is this one. Inside the storage, you have to back, enter in your storage account, manage key. Remember to save this one and the primary access key, this one. Okay, you don't need to know more to use the event tab. This is enough, right? So back to the code. Back to the code. This is the connection string inside the event tab. Okay, what I just showed you before. This is the name or of the event tab. I need to change this one because I used another. Okay. Okay, perfect. And let me check here. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to try to send some message inside the event tab. Okay, check this out. Connection hall. So the event tab now, because I change uh, the event tab string just before the session, because I'm crazy. I am to do that just before the session. No, no. I mean, not just one day before, just before the session. This is absolutely to do. <laughs> okay, this is the connection string. I think this could be enough. Okay. So you can just check my troubleshooting. You can start to understand what I'm doing. Okay, connection string. I'm going to create a connection string here. I'm going to define here what the the mechanism I would like to use to connect to the event tab. I'm going to create the connection string for the event tab. That's all. I'm going to create the event tab here. This is curious, this approach. Just check this approach. I like to use uh, a static variable out of the scope. Okay? This is for better for the performance. Okay? Now I'm trying to check. Okay. I believe, okay, we can try to use this one and check if it's working. Where is, where is, where is this one? Okay, send. This is uh, send the loop sync. Edit the send uh, 10 message to the event tab. Okay, run as administrator. Okay, I just sent now uh, well, 10 message in 287 milliseconds. Okay, this is what I did now. Okay, uh, I also would like uh, uh, to receive, uh, I can use uh, this mechanism. Now I'm going to use the direct mechanism. I'm going to show you the direct mechanism here. There are a lot of code guys here. Would you like to receive this uh, demo? Would you, like, would you like to receive this demo? This is code, guys. Yes? Okay. One beer. Oh, two beer. No, one beer for each one beer for each process, for each project. So one and two beers, one for the sender and one for the receiver. Okay, yes, no, two beers. Yeah, one for the sender, another for the receiver. Okay, 
So send me send me just <laughs> send me an email Nino dot crudele at life dot com. Okay. I'm just going to send this demo all the uh, just only to the guys will send me an email in uh, in the last I mean I don't know this evening okay this evening so you are here present in this session so I'm going to send this this will go to the guys will be will send an email me uh, in I mean last uh, two next two hours by the way test we can go and uh, let me take this one in program direct because there is a lot a lot engine engine direct check this out okay perfect this is the direct so connection string is the same of before this is the name the event tab name okay perfect now I like to use uh, this approach also because I'm going to use uh, the namespace manager here this is a nice approach because I like to use the namespace manager and I like to get the event tab here because I'm going to use uh, I'm going to, to check how many partition the event tab has I'm going to cycle all the partition I'm going to start a thread a receiving thread for each partition okay this one one of the approach you can use using uh, the given tab okay another approach I'm going to show you now another approach is this one abstraction so for abstraction when you're going to hear about abstraction using event tab you're going to use the event process host okay so this one event consumer now ah, also I'm using event consumer group in this sample I will show you okay so here also okay uh, here I'm going to create a consumer group okay in this case I'm not going to specify anything so I'm going to use in the first uh, sample I'm going to use a uh, default consumer group in the other sample I'm going to create different consumer groups so you will be able to see the difference between one or the other pattern okay uh, after that you are going to create an event processor host same this one and using a event processor host a single way so this is the class you have to inherit uh, the i event processor i don't want to spend a lot a lot to worry about that guys we can organize another session if you want and we can go inside all of this stuff because it's some board sometime no? but by the way uh, you have to inherit this uh, interface and just the very important the very important method inside is this one okay here you are going to receive all the messages inside the event tab check this out okay so you're going to receive for example for each uh, the partition I create the same pattern but in a synchronous way I also create in the same and in the same I create also for uh, in a synchronous way uh, a very very interesting thing is this one uh, when I'm going to send message in multi-trading and using uh, to send a lot a lot a lot of messaging in the event I mean very 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 fast way what I like to do is using one with this kind of approach I use I like to send all the message here I for I just using this one because I I want to do 10 time in 10 different queue okay and going just to enqueue all the message inside the queue what the queue is the queue is the queue is is this one is a is an is an is a let me where is oh okay is this one is a concurrent queue okay this is a very very nice thing guys this is nothing to do with the event tab okay and just show you this one is a very very way if you want to be able to 
manage uh, a million of messages per second, okay, for logging system, for any kind of things, okay. For example, I use a lot in my last project, I use a lot of this mechanism inside the last project, okay. It's very, very, very fast way, okay. So, um, this is the lock slim mechanism. So you you are able to send it to queue all the message in multi trading you can you are able to put all of this in queue and use an interlocking mechanism without very very fast interlocking mechanism to manage the queue okay what i'm doing here is just send the batch to the event tab so i'm going to send a direct a batch directly to the event tab not a single message but we can also check about sending a single message so you know so i i hope you you start to understand what i did here so i have just a a a, a lock slick back and interlocking multi-trending messaging is going to enqueue all the message in very very fast way after that i'm going to send all of this message by batch okay it's very very fast way so if you want to find with even tab but and pump the even tab as you can this is the the place because I'm going to forget these important things. Where is service bus? This one. Okay. Entering service bus. Okay. And configure the service bus. And scale, sorry. Scale. This one guy. This one the even tab truth what I said you before. Okay. You can just pump this one. This in this point, I am able to send uh, twenty thousand message per second. Okay. So if you are going to spend your time, if you are going to spend your time to try to send one million message from your laptop, okay, just you are going to bust your time, guys. I mean, what I'm telling you now, and the first thing you have to do is just to up and pump the truth with tuning inside the event tab okay more can i do now in this moment i am not able to send more than twenty thousand message per second to the event tab okay so by the way now no more than one thousand okay one thousand message per second nothing more but because i care about my wallet I don't want to spend all my money. I'm going to keep this 1,000 <laughs> message per second. <laughs> I'm so crazy, guys. By the way, Bill, a weekend back here. And now I want, okay. Yeah, yeah, I have real life sample. Real life, what do you mean, uh, Fernando, for real life? Uh, Real life, uh, I explain. In the meantime, explain me what you mean about real life. Uh, what I'm showing you now is a real life sample. Is a sample. Uh, this one, I'm going to open this one in direct now. Yes. This is going to receive for a lot, a lot of different, uh, different uh, partition. I'm going to send now here. Let me check here. So I have 100 per 10, 1,000 message. 1,000 message, but we can send more. Well, I don't want it now because I want, yeah. No, before I want to check you, I want to show you one thing. Okay, let me open this one. This is a receiver processor host. Check these things. This is an abstraction. So I'm using the default default group okay i'm going to create this one more than one check what happened guys now is one two three four five six seven. okay a lot save oh good Not about discretion. Fantastic. Run as administrator. Consumer group default. 
Okay? Check what's happened. This is very important. You have to understand about that. Okay? See what's happening inside the partition now. Some of the partition, some of the some of the, the consumer here, we have a 16 consumer. I execute the 16 consumer. I have 16 partition. Okay. So what's happened now? For each of the receiver has to own one of the partition. So it's going to split a different partition for each of the receiver. Okay. So if you're going to, to use one single receiver using the default group, you have one single receiver is going to listen on 16 partition together. Okay. Now I execute 16 different receiver using the single default group. What is going on? The receiver is going to distribute all the all the different partition okay between all the receiver okay so if we're going to send something now what is send loop sync edit 100 message save Uh, run as administrator, run. See what's happening. I'm going to receive all the message. Okay? All right? From the different partition. Okay? I want to show you now a very cool things. Okay. This one. Open another. Okay. Multi trading. Edit. Now we are going uh, ten thousand message. Oh, 10,000 too much. I want just this one. 1,000. Just to play with one thing. Run as administrator. Check how much is fast now. Okay. I sent 1,000 message now. I I queue 1,000 message in 4 milliseconds. Okay. And I send 1,000 message to the event tab. Okay in 200 milliseconds, right? I can go more than this one, right? We can go, this is what the mechanism was about, you remember. Sorry, let me open here, edit. One thousand. 10,000 because you do remember it for 10, 10 times. Okay, run as administrator 10,000. 10,000 message, no bad. Okay, this is just using send batch mechanism and see and lock slim mechanism in interlock and multi trading. Okay, very, very fast way. I would like to show you now just the last the last demo. I have no time, but if you want, we can stay here. Using the group, I'm going to create a different group now. Now, these are three different group. Okay, so I'm going to create in a synchronous way three different group. Run as administrator. All the group are going to receive the same message now. Okay. Okay, now they're starting. So now they're going to receive all the same message. 
Check this out. Before we're different, okay? They are going to receive all the same message because, because they are three different groups. They are going to receive the message, okay? And the receiving mechanism is not so fast. I'm going to use now the event process host in a synchronous way. But you just check by just seeing you know, what's happening inside. It's not so fast, okay? The direct receiving is absolutely faster, guys. You have to check this out. Check this out. I'm going to show you now. Direct mechanism is this one. Okay. This is the direct mechanism. Let me open this one. I'm going to send, for example, 1,000 message. Okay. Edit. Run administrator. This one. Okay. Done. Have you seen? Did you see? This is absolutely faster. Absolutely faster. I'm going to send more. I'm going to send more. 10,000. 10,000 message. It's absolutely faster. There is more reactive. Absolutely more reactive. No way. No way. See? Is absolutely fast. A direct mechanism. Okay, now it's bomb because it's a test. <laughs> but <laughs> it's absolutely fast. Okay. Okay. But I insist you, you can do better. Check this out. Run as administrator. Put this one here. I'm going to send now 100,000 message. 100,000 message. Ooh. 26 milliseconds to queue all the message inside. Check this out, guy. This is this are millisecond, eh, guy. 100,000 message. Okay. So okay, the direct messaging receiving is just I just write some code using ten different thread receiving, okay? But the sending message mechanism is absolutely cool. So check this out. Just finish now. One hundred thousand message sent in event tab using my my laptop. I think it's cool. Do you agree with me? No any answer. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> yes, cool. Thank you, Fernando. I will send you the code. I will send you the code. I will send you the code. <laughs> so, what time is it? Ah, 35. I think you have to close the session. Okay. I would like to show some, some more things now. Send me, Fernand, send me, this is my mail, send me at live.com. I will send you my code. This one, guys, this is my mail address. Okay. And I also have a lot, a lot of different uh, sample. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, guys, do you want to another after party? Ah, you want to an after party now? Because I have my beer here. I don't have any problem to go ahead without any problem. Do you want to see something more? <laughs> no, any answer. <laughs> Are you with the guy? <laughs> okay, go. Okay. Oh, cool, guys. So I can... Okay, okay, cool. Okay, because my family is here eating. <laughs> we are the people eating. My wife is here just <laughs> eating my children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, ciao Massimo. There is Massimo too. 
So, um, and okay, so I'm back now to the code here because I would like to check with you this one, these things here, because I would like you to you understand very carefully about the event type. Okay. Yeah, if the main time, if you want to do question, do question, guys. We can discuss inside the code. We can discuss everywhere. And uh, are you care to know how to integrate uh, stream analytics with event tab, for example? Do you want to know how to do that? Ah, yes. Ah, you want. Okay, cool. I'm going to show you. So back, back to the code here. Where is? Where is? Where is? Okay, even. Stream analytic. Stream analytic and back we, we can back it to the event tab eh, when you want. Okay. So stream analytic. This is crazy animal. Uh, this crazy animal. Where is stream analytic here? I am many times I probably just to see. Okay. Okay. Where is where is where is stream 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 stream? stream. Active Directory, Manager, Stream Analytics. Check this out. So I have this solution here. Let me check here. OK. This is a, another my lab. It's a laboratory. I use this laboratory to play with event tab, stream analytics, uh, and um, notification services, broker services, blah, 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 all of the things inside Azure. It's uh, my old project, old one. This is a sender program. This program is going to send a message to the event tab. Oh, remember me, guys. I have to tell you one important thing about the storage account to the event tab, OK? Remember me. Uh, ask me about that later. Uh, so. Here we have the program, so we are going to send this message inside the event tab. The important thing you have to know now is about this one, the message. This message is the class metric event. So I'm going to check the metric event. Check the structure of metric event class, OK? Metric event is contained the field transaction ID, site ID, and temperature, OK? This is just a simulation just to gather information from sensor, nothing more, OK? It's a just, just to play, OK? Nothing more. So I'm going to create the sensor information, and I'm going to serialize in JSON. This is a string, nothing more than a string. I'm going to use the encoding UTF get byte just to encoding and to put all of this in, in, in byte and save all of this inside the event data, right? Uh, we are going to send in a partition key. This is not important, guys, not important, absolutely. You can avoid to use this line of code, for example. In this case, you are going to use the round robin mechanism we're using in the event tab, okay? Uh, after that, oh, I forgot to tell you that. Uh, you can also use the property inside the event tab in this way, very simple. This is the event data message. You can use this one. You can just say my property value, my property name, sorry, and property value. OK? And you can use that inside, I mean, for public subscription mechanism, solo open other thing. I'm using, for example, a lot for public subscription mechanism. OK? It's pretty cool, this one. So the only limitation you have here, the only limit you have here about that is because is um, you have uh, serialization, uh, not not all the objects. So you the, sorry, so the, the the event tab needs to serialize the property in the context message, okay? And the serializable mechanism. Um, I mean, you have to manage this one. For example, if you are going to use uh, this kind of animal here, list, for example, you are not able to use list inside the context property message, OK? This is what I mean, OK? So you have to write your own serializable dictionary stuff if you want to do that, right? By the way, 
this was just to speak about some geek geek stuff okay and after that you are going to send uh, to the event up nothing more you already think before and by the way i'm going to send to the stream analytic what i have to do here i have here a uh, stream analytic here this is stock but i will create later just to show you what i'm going what is going on uh, you create oh no man what are you doing 40 minutes you can't start my <laughs> no come on can i stop this one no i no come on unbelievable by the way uh monitor okay uh you have to create uh, you have to create the stream analytic quick create can i stop the restart here hey guru guys all the gurus there yeah i know i can stop this i can stop i can stop the restart guys come on buddy <laughs> all this aspect <laughs> So, uh, stream analytic sample, okay, not Europe, page of storage account, okay, okay, click. Oh guys, someone know how to stop the restart here. I remember one one command line I don't remember now. Because we are going to miss the session here, okay? I remember one was uh, was something about okay, by the way. He's going to create this one, okay? After that, we created the stream analytic. I'm going to select my input to select an input, you are going to, to select the data stream or the reference data. Select the data stream. Next. Okay. You can use a blob storage or event tab. Use event tab. In this case, you have to use event tab for sure. Okay. Put an input uh, alias as you want. Yes, it's automatic restart. I have to stop the restart. Otherwise, we're going to miss the session. <laughs> Okay. Yes, my family is here eating. So, my alias. Okay. If you are going to use the subscription, guys, use the current subscription. So, you will be able to use the event tab you already created inside. Okay? This one. I can use my demo all I want. For example, H sensor. Okay? root with this is the public access key do you remember okay i show you before or we can use this one this is very powerful even tab consumer group we can use this one we just keep wait because we are going to use the default consumer group okay now you know what is it serialization format this is csv or json json UTF, yeah, for sure, because we use the ETF. That's all, guys. Do it. Now, we do that. We have two different things to set. One is the query. Here, we have to set the query. This is a transact SQL, guys. You have to write the transact SQL. You have to select what? The name of the class you created. Okay, sorry, the, the field inside the class you created from the name of the class. Output, the output, you have to select the output. You can select another event tab, a SQL table, table storage, or you want. I'm using SQL database, for example. It's very nice because you have to SQL, 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 uh, my DB, I don't know. SQL database from current subscription, 
I already have a database here, SQL Server name, username I don't remember, the password too, and the table, okay? That's all, click, okay, done. I'm going to show you one already, already done, so it's very simple to understand what is going on here. Check the query, do you remember the class? Select the transaction ID, site ID, temperature, as message from input and sensor alarm. What is it, this one? This is the alias name you used here. Check this out. Okay, guys, and you have to understand about that. Input sensor alarm query from input sensor alarm. This is the, the, the tip, nothing more to understand. You can also use where, class, all you want, okay, because you want to filter, for example, for some particular information inside the event tab. Okay. Okay. Output. This is the famous database. Okay. SQL means sensor alarm. You are going to start all of this, and the result is absolutely is absolutely. I already sent the message. Check this out. This is the database sensor alarm. Execute, connect. I don't remember the password now. Hope about that. Yeah. Uh, okay, script table, select two new query windows. Select this one. Okay. So, uh, Nothing, nothing, nothing more important, okay? It's very, very simple. In, in general, this is just the base about the stream analytic, okay? This is the code, it's very simple. You just send a message. This is the class, you remember, transaction ID, site ID, and temperature. And the only thing you need to, to remember is about, was about this one. Remember just this, I, I spent some time to understand these things. From input sensor Lala is the name of the alias used here. Okay, this one. Just remember about that. Nothing more. Okay. Cool. Cool. Do you want to know something else? More? What? I'm drinking my beer in the meantime. So my wife is going to make me some. <laughs> Uh, my family is so crazy. I have a family, so crazy family. So, guys, question. We can play back with the uh, event tab or just make me question. Uh, we can, because I, I think we still have uh, 10 minutes of, and the, my machine is going to restart here. So, tell me if you have a question or something. Uh. Interesting. Cool. No, any question? Okay. Cool. Uh, if you want, uh, uh, I mean, I would like to organize, if you want, uh, another another meeting about even tab. Uh, uh, but just playing with code without the slide. If you like uh, to do that, uh, we can organize uh, another evening, Wednesday or when you want, okay? Uh, we are going to do that, okay? No any problem. Uh, so, thank you guys. Thank you guys, thank you all. Uh, hope was helpful. For you and I mean see you in London and for beer at all you want okay <laughs> guys I love you guys <laughs> yes, yes, my wife is getting here <laughs>
Hi guys, it's Mike. Sorry, I was on mute there, and I've, I've just realised. Um, so I was just going to take back over from Nino there to wrap the meeting up. So thanks for um, a really good session, Nino, and thanks for doing the after party. Um, going a little bit over time there just to show us some more stuff. Um, the last thing for today really is just if anyone's in London next week for the meeting, I think a lot of people are going to be getting there from Saturday and probably going to be leaving around Wednesday. So if anybody's around and you know people are going to be there drinking beers and um, catching up with each other. So if you if you're in a loose end and want to meet up with people, um, hash on the um, hash integration Monday um, Twitter tag and, and I'm sure people will tell you where they are and, and grab beers and stuff. Uh, but otherwise, hope everyone's had a good night and uh, catch you guys next week.